Now a little happier story about a local pilot. The cyclocrane has flown. That Tillamook blimp described as a revolutionary new concept of the old lighter-than-air vehicles has its builders high too. Channel 2's Pat Wilkins reports on the successful first test flight. Rube Goldberg would do a double take on this one, the cyclocrane, a blimp with wings, and said to be the first really new aircraft since the invention of the helicopter. And while it may look like an unpublished Goldberg cartoon, this contraption is being looked upon seriously as a replacement for the helicopter in logging. Its builders say it's designed to lift twice the load at a quarter of the cost of operating the largest helicopter and will cost less to build. And here it is now with J.J. Morris and Rob Crimmins at the controls. The cabin is that tiny gondola hanging 130 feet below the blimp. Following a 10-minute test flight in which the craft lifted 70 feet off the ground, hovered, turned, and lifted a small load, Crimmins called it exciting, interesting, and a bit frightening. But this first real test of proof of this proof-of-concept vehicle also triggered optimism. We can state now that it'll be used for logging and construction, uh, road building, uh, coastal surveillance, and while it is envisioned that the first cyclocranes would be used for logging, it is also imagined they could be used for moving of houses, perhaps prefabbed and set down anywhere in the country, hauling of steel structural components such as bridges, salvage work like the towing of a disabled ship, and of course moving of people, say from Los Angeles to Las Vegas or from New York to Atlantic City, or for that matter, in all areas of mass transit and at today's prices at about a third of the cost of an airline ticket. The first flight has apparently erased those bad moments back in October of 1982, when heavy winds tore the blimp from its moorings and dashed it to the ground, scattering its parts over a wide area. Its rebuilding has added another $2 million to the cost of the cyclocrane to date, around $7 million. With the potential of hundreds of jobs in connection with future manufacture of large industrial cyclocranes in Tillamook, the U.S. Forest Service has funded a feasibility study of the machine for use in logging. Canadian lumber interests have funded this prototype. If the thing makes good its promise, its builder, Aerolift, could become Tillamook County's largest employer. And test pilot J.J. Morris filled in part of the promise following the test. We were in free flight, he said. The craft handled fairly well, but it boils down to the fact that now we know it will fly, I must learn to fly it. This is Pat Wilkins, Channel 2 News.